starts on page seven. This has actually turned out to be uh, a fairly good budget this year. And we went back, and as I do every year before I start on the fiscal year 14 budget, I go back and look at the current year, which is fiscal year 13, and we try to make any revisions that need to be made to try to get as close as we can to where we think we're going to end up for the year. And we did that on fiscal year 13. And what I'll say about that before we move into 14 numbers is that we did come out pretty good. If you look at the very bottom where it shows prior year interest income and fund balance, if you take the net of those two numbers, it's actually, you know, um, $3,531 that we're using of our fund balance, which is a very low amount. And I, I really feel like it's going to come out better than that because I'm always pretty conservative with these estimates. And when we get to the end, I'm, I'm hoping we'll have a little bit maybe roll back in fund balance. And, you know, we talked before, I just, rather be conservative and we'll talk about fund balance in a few minutes but I would rather keep that fund balance at a pretty good level because we don't know what's going to happen in the future especially with our grant aid with the formula change and also vital records I know is, is doing great now but once we reach that peak where everybody has their you know birth certificates and I'm afraid we may see that go back down some so so I'd like to keep that fund balance at least you know Look at the fiscal year 14 numbers. You can see that the total budget is now two million six hundred seventy-five thousand eight hundred forty-two dollars, and it's an increase of one thirty-eight two thirty-five. I'm just going to go over some of the increases or some of the changes in the expenses and revenues. If you have any questions, just stop me. If not, we'll move on to the charts and we'll talk about this. Of course, the, the main line items in this budget are our salaries and our fringe benefits. And and you can see that there's an increase in our salary line of 54195 And one of the things that we did this year, Lisa met with our human resource director and tried to look at all the salaries of the staff in the health department. It's been several years since these people have gotten a pay increase. And, you know, the, it's probably been five to six years. I know this for the state paid staff and some of the programs, we've tried to work them in as we had the funding. But overall, it's been a long time. And we were looking at some of these clerical people that had been with the health department over 20 years were barely making 22 and $23,000 a year. Pretty low salary. So Carla Taylor, our human resource director, looked at what other districts were paying and what some of the averages were for the state and these type jobs and sort of designed a pay scale similar to what the school systems have. It's like a step, you know, you start out at a certain level. Once you reach the, reach the three year period, you go up to another level. And I think she's got it at five, maybe 10 years. And, you know, we'll do that as long as the budget can afford it. And that's, you know, we did it this year. Now we'll have to take that year by year. And we may not be able to continue with that. But that's our plan. So we hope that we can give those employees something to look forward to and they can see where they're going down the road. And they won't feel like they're, you know, really stagnant at a certain salary. Most, since there's been an across the board pay increase, and you know, we may have done, you know, maybe hit this, you know, when we can evaluate certain positions, but overall for the district, it's been about five years. I'm surprised that there's not, I'm surprised that, that there's not a, uh, a paradigm or a scale in place. Now, I know uh, the city of also is one similar to the county, and it's ours was put together by the University of Georgia, you know, where we have a, like you're saying, a scale. And I think it'd be prudent the next time we get a commissioner down here that, that hopefully that could be something the state can help what we build with. So what do you overall, what is this 54, 195, what it's percentage about increase? It's 5% overall increase. And we've looked at, we've actually went through each employee to see what each one, based on where they were on the scale, there's change range from three to 7% on each employee, but it's an overall average of about five we feel like, you know, we've got them in a place now, I think, I think they're going to be happy with this when they, because they've been so used to not having an increase at all. I think it's going to help. And, did you bump them up? No, I guess what? Did you create the, the scale and then overlay it and bump up according to the scale? Yes. So, so we think that's a good thing and I hope we can continue that. And we, and we can't, we are going to evaluate it and I think that's a good idea if we had something else to look at. I'm, our human resource director, I know that she had a that she was doing that. I hope she did 